Welcome back to my essential maintenance tips for brass instruments. Today we're going to talk about oiling valves. Now there's a correct way of oiling your valves and an easy way if you've not got the confidence to do that. Let's look at the correct way of doing it first. Take your valve out, unscrew the valve top, pull the valve. I recommend instead of pulling it all the way out, I like just to pull it halfway out so then when you come along with your valve oil, it runs into the valve and not everywhere else. A few drops, that's all you need. Turn it clockwise. Turning clockwise always keeps everything tight, all the threads tight. Spreading the oil around the surface of the valve, and that's great. Now, getting it lined up. Can you see the white valve guide? That has to slot into the groove inside the valve casing. So we turn it clockwise until it clicks and drops in. There you go, it dropped. You sometimes hear the click, here we go. There we go. And once that's clicked in and dropped in, you can fasten it up. Be careful that you, when you're fastening the valve top up, it's straight, not at an angle. Is it an angle, you will cross thread, and we don't want that. Keep it nice and straight. Fasten it up. Just like that. Perfect. Do that to each valve separately. Don't try to do all three at once. You could get them mixed up and then you've got problems. So do valve one, valve two, and then valve three. Now, if you haven't got the confidence to take them out and realign them, the easy way is just, can you see the three holes at the bottom of your valve? Now they're officially not for putting valve oil in, but we can do. So what we can do is just get your valve oil, just put a little drop in each hole, run the valves, spread the oil onto the surface inside. That's great. Now a little tip, when you turn it upside down, there's going to be a few drops of oil come out and you don't want them on your clothes or on your mum's carpet. Get a rag or a piece of kitchen towel and just have those few drops go onto there. And there we have it. Now, if you haven't got any valve oil, water is second best. Whatever I've done with the valve oil there, you can do with water. A few splashes of water gets it going because they dry up and they're not used. So the water does release them. It's not as good as oil, but it's second best. Great, so that's keeping your valves working makes practice easier and more enjoyable. All the best and stay safe. Bye.